guys, welcome to Linux Mate. Thank you for watching. Uh, today we're going to look at automatic jobs in Linux using Cron. Uh, Cron is a time-based job scheduler for Unix-like operating systems and originates from the early days of Unix back in 1975, I believe was the original um, Cron, originally when Cron was included in um, in AT&T Unix. Um, users uh, that set up and maintain software environments use cron to schedule jobs such as commands or shell scripts uh, to be run at, uh, uh, periodically at uh, fixed times, dates, or intervals. So uh, it typically automates uh, system maintenance or administration, although it's also useful for things like downloading files from the internet at regular intervals and things like that. So um, it's uh, there are other technologies or other um, uh, software uh, daemons that you can use to automate processes in um, Linux and Unix, um, but um, cron is the oldest and um, it's just very simple to use. I honestly uh, prefer it uh, over um, any of the other alternatives that I have used. But um, so there are two types of cron jobs. Um, there are uh, system-wide uh, cron jobs and user-specific cron jobs. Um, today we're going to focus on the system-wide um, uh, jobs uh, in this video, but uh, the same principles apply, and we'll take a quick look at um, at how you would go about um, creating a user-specific. Uh, cron job um, at the end. The cron should be available on any uh, Unix or uh, Linux based system. Um, to uh, demonstrate how to use cron, um, I've logged into uh, an Ubuntu um, cloud server that I have, uh, as you can see here. Um, and uh, I'm going to use this to uh, to demonstrate cron. So um, the first thing that we want to do is uh, make sure that we have cron installed. Um, so we can do a systemctl status cron. And as you can see, the, uh, the cron service is loaded and it is active and running. Um, if it is not, uh, is not, does not show up, um, if you're on an Ubuntu or uh, Debian-based system, you can just sudo apt install cron. Um, I don't need to do that because uh, I already have it installed, of course. Um, and, and then if um, if it's not enabled, if this is inactive or dead, then you can um, sudo systemctl um, enable cron and then sudo systemctl start cron. Um, enabling the service in the system D will uh, just uh, cause the cron service to start whenever the uh, the server started and then the uh, system ctl start cron will um, just start the service immediately in the current session so now that we have um, when we know that cron is there and enabled uh, let's take a look at configuring a cron job so uh, system-wide cron jobs are configured using the Etsy cron tab file. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to sudo Etsy cron tab. Oops. Etsy. cron tab. All right, so here is um, the um, cron tab file that um, comes default with um, Ubuntu server. Um, you, uh, your distribution will likely have something similar. 
Um, but each one of these lines um, represents an individual a cron job um, that is scheduled to run. Um, and if you see the comment here that tells you um, uh, it's basically uh, headings for the uh, six different, um, the seven different columns that uh, go on uh, each line to create a cron job. So um, as you can see, the um, first five are um, numerical values and represent the time and the frequency uh, that you want the cron jobs to run. Um, because every cron job is scheduled to run on a specific interval um, where it can be based on minutes, hours, uh, the day of the month. Um, it can be based on the day of the week. Um, there's just a lot of different, um, different ways you can configure it. Um, and each of these values here can be um, either specified uh, specifically or you can use the asterisk as a wild card which um, means that uh, all values are acceptable and so the first value here represents the the minute you want the job to run the second value represents the hour and um, the, uh, the third represents the day of the month. The fourth uh, number uh, represents uh, the um, month of the year. And the fifth value represents the day of the week. Um, and for uh, day of the week, uh, zero represents Sunday, uh, six would represent Saturday. So it's a zero based um, value and it goes from Sunday to Saturday. And then the next um, value is the name of the user you want this command um, or script to be executed as. Um, the root user um, is what you want to use if it needs admin privileges, if it needs to be ran as sudo, for example. Uh, if it needs to be ran as root, we use root. Um, it's a good idea to um, use non-root accounts for these when possible, um, but um, running them as root oftentimes is just fine as well. So, and then the final um, value is the actual command that we're going to execute. So uh, let's set up a couple of uh, cron jobs here. Um, the, um, the first job uh, we're going to create is just for demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to um, update a file um, every minute using the touch command and a file in the temp directory. So this is just um, purely academic here. And so the columns we have, um, the first column is the minute. So we want it to run every minute and we don't care what hour it is we don't care what day of the month it is we don't care what month it is and we don't care what day of the week it is uh, we're going to run this as root and the command I'm going to run is touch tmp my file .txt. so um, to recap here uh, it's going to run every one minute and any hour on any day of the month any um, month of the year and any day of the week it's going to be ran as root and the command that will be ran will be touch slash temp slash myfile.txt 
So um, the touch command just um, either creates an empty file, the file doesn't exist, or it will update the timestamp of a file that does exist. So the first time that this runs, it should create the file, and every subsequent run, it should update the, um, the timestamp on the file. So that is my first cron job. And the second one is um, a little more practical. Um, I want to create a, um, a cron job that um, downloads um, the updated uh, repository um, for Arch Linux to my test repository that's located on this server. And we will use this command and um, I want to update this path. Okay, so basically what this does is um, if we start, let's start from the very beginning and um, this first value says run at the first minute of hour zero so it would be 12.01 a.m. I don't care what day of the month it is I don't care what month it is but I do specify a day of the week and one would represent Monday since it's zero base and starts at Sunday one will represent Monday. And so this particular command will be executed every um, on 12.01 a.m. every Monday morning. And as you can see, I did forget one thing. I need to specify the account, which this will be ran under. I'm going to go ahead and do the as root as well. And if you're not familiar with the rsync command, um, it just syncs two file systems together. Uh, in this case, I am syncing a, um, a uh, Arch repository is located on a remote server. I am uh, syncing up with it and uh, syncing to um, this directory that is then served by Apache as the um, Adele OS uh, test repo. So I would love, want to just do this every week to keep the test repository up to date. Um, but you can use this technique to um, to automate any task you want, um, whether it be a single command or a bash shell script of several thousand lines of code to automate a complex task. Or a series of complex tasks. Um, so th this is our uh, this is our uh, cron tab file here. I'm going to save it. And now, if I go to my temp directory and list it out here, I do not um, yet have a um, a file called my file dot txt actually I um, I should put a one here for the minute and since I don't want it to um, run on the first minute of every hour um, I want it to run on every minute of every hour of every day so I needed uh, an asterisk uh, for the the minute column as well so now that we've got that issue resolved, let's go back and have a look. And as you can see, right here's the file. And it was created, um, as you can see, the, the, the timestamp is 635. And uh, when this ticks over, it should, there it goes and it updated to 636. 
So one other thing I'd like to look at just very briefly um, before we wrap up is how to set up um, user specific cron jobs. And um, you can do that um, by uh, using your own account. This doesn't have to be done as root. Um, you can just do uh, cron tab dash E. And this will open up your personal cron tab file and you can set up cron tabs, um, cron jobs in your cron tab file um, using the uh, the same syntax um, as you would for um, the system wide cron jobs. Uh, the only difference is here as you can see the headers. Um, the only difference we have, uh, you know, the minute, the hour, the uh, the day of the month, the month of the year, the day of the week, and then the command. Uh, we don't see the uh, user account um, listed here, and that's because um, these personal cron jobs are your jobs, and they will always be executed as you. So um, you only specify the command and not the user. And so since I don't actually want that cron job to run all the time, I'm going to comment it out. And you can do that using the pound sign. But I do want to keep the, um, the cron job that refreshes the repository. So um, that was a quick look at uh, cron jobs. Um, they're convenient for scheduling maintenance or any kind of tasks you need. Very easy to set up, as you can see. Uh, you can do cron jobs system wide and user specific jobs, and um, they're just um, they're used very often by sysadmins. So um, give them a try. I hope that they help you out. So thanks for clicking on the video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more like it, please like this video and subscribe and see you soon.